So here's another mixed example and for the first question we have to work out G1. So it's always a good idea to try this question yourself before watching how I do it because I might do it in a different way to what you did. Meanwhile there's usually more than one way you can do these questions. So if we look at this shape over here we can instantly say that that is a cyclic quadrilateral because it is a four-sided shape that touches the circle at each of its four corners. Don't worry about any of the other lines such as these lines or these lines. You just got to try identify the four-sided shape. And so we know that the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, so D and G1 for example, they add up to 180. And so straight away we can say that G1 is equal to 80 degrees because of the opposite angles of a cyclic quad. And then some teachers will add supplementary over there. Supplementary means that they add up to 180. Now moving on to the next question, they want us to work out the angle E, which is this one over here. So sometimes you just got to see the bigger picture. And so if we had to look at this triangle here, well, we already know that D is 100. This one over here is 70. And so we could say that angle E is going to be equal to 180 minus 100 minus 70. Why? Because of the sum of angles in a triangle. And so if you go work that out, you're going to end up with E as 10 degrees.